So yesterday, had some NU rain, so why not follow it up with some OU sun? Um, so I didn't get this team from anyone in particular, more so I was watching a friend ladder, and I said, hey, that team looks kind of cool, so I just stole the six and it <laughs> ripped sets from the, um, <laughs> analysis page. But, Sun's always been an archetype I really liked, if you know how I've been in cap metagames. I've basically just run people over with Sun every time I played the meta. I, I, I couldn't tell you how no one preps for it from me, but it is what it is. It's got Walking Wake, man. I'm about to, I'm about to blow some things up with specs. <laughs> As always, if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Our end of the year goal is 10,000, and I need everyone to watch this and subscribe. So, hey. Right down there. Go click that button. It's free. <laughs> and yeah, just also, yeah, like I said, yesterday we used rain. This video is being pre-recorded like about oh, two weeks before it actually goes up. A lot of these will be pre-recorded like two weeks before they go up. So if I end up not remembering what I did the day before, hey. Don't shoot the messenger, so to speak. I'm like Moltres versus this guy. It's like looking just generally pretty safe. As they lead off with the mute. Now here's the thing. I want to immediately go to my Hatterene. I'm a you. They should not rock up. They should attack first, right? I mean, I feel like I could just go hat anyway. Yeah, let's just go hat anyway. I mean, the reason going hat's so low drawback, though, is I can go hattery. If they attack me, I just get to go Torkoal, set my sun, and then bring in, like, either hattery again or go walking wake. I also have, of course, Mr. Brute Bonnet, which is probably the option on this team that I dislike the most. Uh, this is not a real Pokemon, but I do still get my Protosynthesis boost. This is going to be really strong. As they go into the Skeledurge here, um, I'm going to be slower, obviously, but I'll still stay in a Nuzzle. <laughs> Why not? And unfortunately, I do get a crit. This runs Terra Fairy. I'm going to go Torkoal. And I'm going to yawn. Actually, no. I feel like that's a bad play. I'm going to go Torkoal and just immediately go Walking Wake. And I'm just going to start throwing off Specs Hydra Steam. Unfortunately, I am plus speed on this team. I don't know if that's honestly all that good. Yo, High Key, Skeletor, she's a mother... You know what? <laughs> to deal with. Oh, God. Um. Hopefully they, just, hopefully they Torch Song again. That's all I can really say. I hope to see a Torch Song. I, I have no other play that I really feel confident in making. Like, Tuskathy is probably okay to go to here, but if they Hex, and then they definitely Katara and then Wisp me, I don't really like that. I have Healing Wish, sure, but I feel like I have safer plays to make. This feels like the safest play. So I'll make it. Yeah, so while my opponent takes all their time <laughs> to make their move. I'm going to talk to y'all real quick. What's poppin'? How you doing? Doing well? Glad to hear it. So, like I said, I'm, go I'm gone right now. But when we come back, we're going to keep going overdrive. Now, y'all have noticed, of course. You just let me hide your steam. Incredible. As y'all have noticed, of course, I have been uploading every day for, what, like six months now? And I don't plan on stopping. <laughs> I want to keep this up, man. I really do. So, I'm going to keep doing my best. I feel like a Terra here, by the way. Hmm. I definitely just Hydra Steam again. As he Flame Orb activates. Does this even live? Let's see. Let's limit test. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Sleep tight. Okay. So we one shot the Hariyama. That was hilarious. <laughs> one shot the Hariyama. I'm really liking my walking wakes position. Of course, I it's not boost energy. This is just protect photosynthesis. So I can keep getting my bro back on in. Keep activating. Hopefully win. Boom comes out. Obviously, I'm not staying in to hit you. I feel like a U turn is probably coming out. I do have Moltres. Is a very, very safe switch every time. Is a U-turn. Unfortunately, I don't get the flame body going. <laughs> My opponent U-turned and immediately disconnected. If they U-turned down to the battle? <laughs> Friend? <laughs> I guess I'll pause this while we wait for him to return. If he doesn't come back, I'll just get the next game. 
Um, yeah, be right back. All right, well, bro did not come back, so <laughs> here's another game. This guy's team has all of the threats. <laughs> what are these threats? Just Gambit, Tusk, Valiant, and even a D-Knight is probably also another Skeletor, which is kind of annoying. Though I'm liking Walking Wake. The annoying part, of course, is they do have a fairy and a dragon. I feel like I could still spam Draco. If they go Valiant versus my um Wake, then that's just I mean that's just a you know, God reads. We we give full credit to God reads like that. I do fear Zapdos as their lead. I don't really like how I match up against it. Hmm. I think I can actually still lead Torkoal though, okay. Stop leading off with the stupid dirge, man. I'm tired of it. I'm hydro steaming again as they tear water. Are you kidding me? Earth power. I'm going for my own Terra. <laughs> you think you're you think you're slick? You think you're slick? Get on about. So we each Terra. I felt okay going for my own though, as we. Each get a speed boost, he's Valiant, so he won't get this off of future turns, at least. Moonblasts, I could Wisp him. I could also just Flamethrower here. Yeah, like, Flamethrower is very free. <laughs> very, very, very free. And I'm gonna go Hatterene here, as they do Roost. But this just lets me get my Sun back up, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'll throw off a Gleam. Yeah, as we get Big Torque. Um, I'm gonna go for my rocks. Bit of a risky play there, but, you know, I mean risky business. And I go back to Mr. Walking Wake. I will Hydra Steam once again. <laughs> I was about to say, I kind of want a Draco, but, eh. I'm gonna go back out to Tusk at the end. Very easy to predict there. And we did pick that one off. Still got my sun up as well. They could go Valiant. All I need to do is preserve Torkoal. I just need to be able to set sun. And I'm going to keep this. I'm a Salt Vest, so I probably live a Moonblast, frankly, but it, it ain't worth it. As they do make a good double into this, I'm going to Wisp. As they're just faster for absolutely no reason. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> um, unfortunately for my opponent, I do have the Steamer. They go for Sucker there. And an Ice Spinner. Yeah, that was a very... Huh. I've never seen a helmet again, but I went for Ice Spinner just in case, you know? Now I can go Torque. And I will go Walking Wake now and Hydra Steam three times in a row. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're in the clear. This was definitely a very good series of games so far to be speed boost, especially because I just Terra so far and everything's getting slammed. Itemless. I mean, we already know he's not Scarf, so I don't have to worry about that. But I'd be faster anyway, so what am I talking about? And that's why you do not tear, like, turn one. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get another one there. Walking Wake is absolutely dogging everything, man. It's been performing very well. Now, this could go like the Backscalibur live we did about two weeks ago. Where, starts off great. Two very dominant wins. And then just goes downhill from there. So let's see if we can... Have a go a little bit better. I'll pause. We'll get this next battle. Hopefully we'll win it. Alright, we are back. Now, this one is also looking pretty good for Walking Wake. Their water resists aren't too good. The only real caveats are going to be that either Alolan Muck or Knackle could be Terra Water. And Knackle is, as we've learned, a beast. Gar Garganet. Garg... There we go. Yeah. I mean, 190 doesn't look insane, right? But... Trust, trust me. <laughs> Source, trust me, bro. They're gonna lead one of these two stupid fast mons. I don't really have the greatest tools. I think I just lead Sun. I didn't go Hatterene here. As I actually do lead with the Natural. Which is kind of decent for me. You know what's crazy? I can rock up here so nicely. Beautiful. And the only reason I'm going to rock up is because I don't think you'd set your own here. If they do, then God reads, I guess. But I wouldn't. <laughs> I would probably just throw off a Sulk here. 
Do I need this month? Uh, it's debatable. I think I'm okay without it. I'm gonna rock up though. I think if anything, I'd go Greninja and just try to Dark Pulse. Even if it invites in Brute Bonnet, I'm gonna be honest, bro. This is one of the least intimidating Pokemon ever crafted. You don't need to worry about Brute Bonnet. <laughs> you really don't. So I get my rockers. My opponent forfeits immediately. What was the point of waiting for like this five minutes for this game? What was the point? They lost the 50-50. They said, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> well, I I am playing this one. This guy's a Reggie Drago. So it's a little bit more awkward of a game because I want to preserve Hatterene. I don't want to let it get taken out super early. Though, of course, another issue being this could be Terra Steel. I think every Reggie Drago probably should be Terra Steel or like Poison. And of course, Terra Blast would rock me. Now the nice thing is, again, we're facing a team that doesn't really have strong water resist. This one has multiple. So I don't think I just get to freely, you know, Hydro Steam their team to death. This is going to be a tough one. This is actually like a really tough angle. Weirdly, I mean, Brute Bonnet looks okay this game. Okay in the sense that at least I can spore the Gapdos and then look for some Bullet Seed. Yup. Um... I don't mind this is my lead. And I do predict their lead correctly. I didn't say it out loud, but... Also, I didn't set a Terra type on this, but I guess Terra Ground is fine. I'm just gonna stay in an Ice Spinner. Like I said, I am a... Let me calc. <laughs> like I said, I'm a Salt Vest, so I'll be fine. But, uh, let me calc. Great Tuscathy. Jeez. <laughs> Look at all those sets! Oh my lord. Assault Vest. Reggie Drago. Oh, you sp Just go Hatterene. Just go into it. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Just go into your Hatterene. That could have been really funny. Go Torkoal. Oh my god, no! No, that that's horseshit. No! You can't be doing that! Also, I'm... The more I think about it, right? This should probably just be body press, right? Like over spin. I don't think I need both when I have another spinner here and then magic bounce. I'm gonna do body press. This is... God. Oh, is this just Jovel? Is is it this kind of over? Is it this kind of over? Yo, nah, that's that's such a weird play. That's such a weird play. Nah, I lost, by the way. Like, super lost. Never mind, I super won. Okay. But nah, that's an insane play by my opponent. Legitimately, that is an insane read. That, again, we call it a god read. That is just simply a god read. I can't even, I can't say anything about it. You read my soul. Go into Among Us here. The Sucker Punch even KO you. Bro. <laughs> Bro, this is so sad. I got rolled by opposing weather. Wait, hold on. We have a chance. Getting Actually dodging that Icicle Crash was so huge because we lived the second one. That was quite big for me. Um... He's gonna just chilly here. A hydro. Oh my lord, it does over half? Ooh. So I think what we could actually end up doing, and he's definitely gonna go for some like tomfoolery here. Hmm. Dun dun dun. This is such a hard game. <laughs> is that really what a Soul Vest takes? Oh my god, I'm just gonna put this back to plus one because it's the same thing. Greninja. How much does Specs Gren do? I do a, I get just blasted. Yeah. <laughs> this mod is a problem! Help me! Oh, their battle bond? Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm facing, like, the true ultimate anti-team here. Th this is just hard to beat. Ayo, though. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I could beat this. If he doesn't switch, he's throwing. Oh, yeah, my bad. My, my opponent is simply the counter set. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, we got hard C teamed. Oh my lord. That was one of the worst matchups I could have gotten. I do think I played pretty poorly on Baxcalibur anyway. Like, when you see the backs, I think you just go Moltres immediately. But it didn't help that... Okay, so I remember what I'm saying about pre-recording, right? So, the only life with the backs is the same dad doing this one. Where we saw a chilly reception in a backs, but it was CB with Thermal Exchange. <laughs> and I had no knowledge of that at the time. So this game, I was kind of just like, eh, you know, maybe, maybe that's what's happening. I'm going to still scout. And then I got sub DD'd on. That guy really wanted to boost. I don't think Bonnet. This mod has done nothing the whole video. Why is it kind of fast, though? Hello? <laughs> but, uh, leave the brute. I hate that I'm sucker punched without crunch. This feels very, very dire. This mod's also done nothing the whole video. It has been a walking wake showcase and nothing less. It just sucks too though that Gloking is always going to be Terra Water. Now I do believe Walking Wake can beat it. And this is what the right one. So like Slow King, Galar. If we're saying OU specially defensive, right? Huh? Oh, well most of them weren't physically defensive. I mean we already see what happens then if we're specially defensive. Oh wait, I see what we were running into. Wait, was it right? Are we sure this calc is right? No, that... What? Why does Draco do so much more? I don't feel like this is properly implemented. 120. It's not! Okay, I was right. Hydra seems just not properly Im implemented on the calc. <laughs> I mean, we still see we're not doing as much as we should, but yeah, it's just not how it works. Unless I'm just- I might be mis disregarding something. This looks like the damage I was doing, right? So we can't two-shot that on. I'm gonna go Torque here. We do- I mean, putting Lando to sleep is pretty whatever, right? I mean, I don't care about this mod. I'll just go Torque now. As they go Mr. Zap. I'll go Hat. Bring in my Walking Wake. I'll Hydra Steam. I'm not gonna go for Terra right now, of course, because they could always reveal- Gloking is specially defensive, at which point I wouldn't beat it. So we Hydra Steam here. And they're physically defensive. Cool. So I will switch. Actually, eh. I'll go for another. As they do go for the T-Wave, I'm gonna just keep Hydra Steaming. I'm faster. So they have to switch. I think Rot probably comes in. But this is okay for me. I think. I have to Healing Wish this back. But I think this mod could actually like, win on its own. Not on its own, but just about on its own. And forcing the Terra out of Gloking is also quite good, meaning that Gambit can't be the one to get it. Can Gambit with Terra is a scary mod. So yeah, I think my goal is just going to be trying to get the Healing Wish off to Walking Wake. I do 500 billion damage to this guy. And I'm going to go into my Moltres, because I am Flame Body, yes! Unfortunately, they do crit me with Ceaseless, but I get the para, which is quite... Not the para, the burn, which is quite good. And we actually just KO that with a U-turn, which is kind of funny. And I'll go Tusk. I'm Assault Vest. So I'm not, like, super opposed to this. I could actually see them. What I would do is I'd go Slow King, and then I'd double to Lando. Because by doing that, you get that regenerator health, and they need regen. So my opponent's not as intelligent as me. Oh, I'm one shot. Okay. Well, I also tried to not let that happen, but unfortunately, I did not <laughs> cancel. I thought about going for Terra. This is a hard game. This is, like, really hard. I'm gonna rock up. I think you Volt. Yeah. I want rocks, at least. This might be another one where he just lives. <laughs> All these glow kings, man. He's gonna just go for Chili here. I don't have much I can do about that. Yeah, Chili Receptions. Yo, so it turns out that Chili Receptions are a great way to make this mod, and, or not this mod, this team very, very struggle. <laughs> I'm not even speaking English. 
Turns out the move Chiller Reception is a great way to give this team issues, because this mon just comes in. First is my Torkoal, and then goes for Chiller Reception, and there is not a thing I can do about it. Also, this just gets to keep hurricaning and they never miss. So, like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I, I, what am I supposed to do? I can't, I can't beat this. Literally just, it's constant Volt Switch from Zap. I th again, I think I needed to tear with my Tusk, but I misclicked. Or not misclicked, I just didn't click cancel when I needed to. And I'm about to lose to fucking Mousehold, man. Use real teams, no! Yeah, this is just straight up full E terrain. So this is going to be pretty tough. Also, my Sucker Punch, of course, is worthless. And I said E terrain, y'all know what I mean. Come on now. You know what? You're going to lead off with your Mon, I'm going to lead off with my Mon. Let's have a mid off. I do predict that correctly. I will go for a bullet suit here. Yeah, I was saying I could probably spore here, but eh. We get a million off on hat. Yeah, what if I... <laughs> Is this the game where I force Brute Bonnet to do something? <laughs> do I just try and force Bonnet to be a useful Pokemon? <laughs> what if it was ladder to this team? I literally told him, I'm just like, yeah, well, the reason the team's struggling might be because you have a Brute Bonnet. <laughs> It's just not a very good Pokemon. I don't think anyone's gonna, you know, really contest that. Go hat here, because I'll take any one hit. I will not take any one hit, because he has specs. Okay. At least I'm assuming it has to be specs to one shot. Wow. Is that a max... Oh, no, it's because I have Sun. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is, a uh, unfortunate. Oh, and yeah, my opponent gets this. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is so stupid, man. This mod is so broken. When you give it both weathers it needs. I'm gonna end it there. I mean, those last few games, like I said with the backslide, it's just... Ah, we start off so well, and then we get a string of just awful games every time. I wish I could play OU with more consistency, but I feel like my ladder luck is already pretty ass with what I'm facing. And it doesn't help that since I don't play OU, I'm just not that, you know, I'm just not going to be as good. But it's okay. Eventually, I'll probably feel better with OU. And this team was still really, really fun. Walking Wake is a menace, but as we said... Turns out, if you cannot keep up your sun, and, you know, Chili Reception and Slow King Galar is on, like, literally every fucking team, because Mon is broken. And I'm losing the term broken just as a normal adjective. I'm not actually calling it OP or anything. Because that Mon is literally everywhere. It, it, it's a little rough out here on these streets. But I hope y'all enjoyed anyway. <laughs> I like to think, at the very least, you're not watching OU for, like, good battles. You're watching these videos because you want you just want to see something entertaining. So, you know what? I think I provide that. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Hope y'all are having fun. Peace.